Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to our Adventure Week of Prayer. I am glad you're still with us. Yesterday's topic was about watering our gardens. Now, when we water our gardens, we get fruits from the trees that we water. So for today's topic is don't buy that fruit. Now you might be asking yourself, now why are we not supposed to buy that fruit? But God has a reason. So you will hear the message in the sermon. Our memory verse for today is Isaiah 12 verse, 20, verse 4. And it says, Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. And proclaim that his name is exalted. We need to praise God in everything, for everything that he has done for us. So I will leave you to hear the sermon. Don't buy that fruit. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Anzani Gawim, and I'll be doing the, the, the Adventure Pledge. Because Jesus loves me, I'll always do my best. Thank you. Adventure law. Be obedient, be pure, be true. Be kind, be respectful, be attentive. Be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful. And be reverent. We're learning every day to be honest, kind and true to be a spirit, do and do. We are adventurous. I will go, go, geo, go, go, geo, go, go, I will go. I will go, go, geo, go, go, geo, go, go, I will go, oh, go. I follow your God, I will be. Whatever you say, I will pray. You give me all I need to show this world your love. Oh, go, go. I follow your God, I will be. Hey, whatever you say, I will pray. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. We thank you for thy particular to hold this day. Now, may please bless all those people. And please bless those ones which are sick. May please bless, make the cover go away so we both can meet each other. And may please bless us as we also think about our death. Jesus pray. Amen. Hello. Hello. My name is Wanchila Sikadri. I'm six years old and I'm in the busy bee class. Welcome to day five of the Adventure Week of Prayer and today's title is Don't Buy That Fruit and, and the mm, message for today is um okay must i help you with our memory verse yeah okay it's from isaiah which one must i read isaiah mm -hmm. 12 verse 4. okay i'm reading isaiah 12 verse 4. in that day you will say give thanks to the lord call on his name Make known among the nations what he has done and proclaim that his name is exalted. And so, Wantula, what does that memory verse teach us? It teaches us that we need to give thanks to the Lord. It teaches us that we need to give thanks to the Lord. And make known what he has done for us, isn't it? Okay, so tell me, Wantula, what God has done for you? What has God done for you? 
He's made me happy. Yeah. He's helped me. Yes. He's my best friend. He's your best friend. That's wonderful, <laughs> Wantula. And as adventurers, we learned about a golden rule. What does the golden rule say from Leviticus 19 verse 18? The golden rule says, Give. Do unto others. Do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. Okay, all right. So I remember you told us a story about two siblings, Hannah and Evert. Can you tell us that story? Yeah. Good. Once upon a time, there were two siblings, Hannah and Evert. One day, Hannah was pouring some um, soil all over Evert. And Ever was crying and the mom and the mom told Hannah to stop but then Hannah kept doing it and doing it. But then Hannah filled it all the way up and she put it all over Evert and um, and and Everett was crying as loud as he ever cried. So then mom told Hannah, did the same thing to Hannah. And did Hannah like it? No, she did not. Hannah went inside to get clean. That's the end of the story. I'm gonna t I was telling you. Oh. Thank you so much, Wantula, for that story. You're welcome. And so we learned that when people obey, there are great results that come with it. What is important is not to take things like the Ten Commandments or the Adventure Law and the Pledge as rules, and that they are boring and add our own spices like Hannah did. We pour bad stories of sand to the people we love, and yet we know very well that if it is done to us, we won't like it. So Wantula, what is our conclusion on our arrows lesson for today? They're sharp, yes. pointy, and they aim at us. Okay, and sometimes what happens? You miss. You miss your target, and what do you do? You start again. You start again. You don't give up. That is correct, tomorrow, uh, Bontula. So, what is our topic for tomorrow for our next adventurer? Why and because. Mm, Bontula, is that a question or an answer? We'll find out. Bye. See you later.